welcome back to my channel. My name is Brendalyn and this is Becoming Brendalyn. Becoming Brendalyn is a channel about becoming who God called me to be. So if you are interested in that, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified every single time I post. And join the family, hashtag becomers. And yeah, join the family and stay tuned for more. Let's get into the video. So I'm starting a new series on my channel called Mental Health Mondays. And Mental Health Mondays is going to be the first Monday of every single month where I discuss a mental health topic or um, anything related to mental health. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about journaling and how to journal and, you know, the five ways it can be extremely helpful. It's incredibly helpful in so many different ways and can, you know, be used to kind of identify a lot of negative ways of thinking and it can help you reframe a lot of your thinking and it can also just be beneficial um, and serve as a source of just being able to talk and let out your feelings when you feel like nobody can hear you. So the first way journaling can be helpful is to practice gratitude. Now, gratitude can be extremely helpful, especially when you are, you know, having a bad day or you're dealing with a lot of negative thoughts. Writing down a list of all the great things in your life or what you are thankful for helps you to kind of focus on the things that you do have. Another way to journal is to write down kind of basically your thoughts and feelings about situations. Nobody will read your thoughts and your feelings about things. So if there's something bothering you, you can just put it to paper. And there's something special about just putting your thoughts to paper and just leaving it there and not carrying it, it with you. For some people, it can just be super cathartic to just release it onto paper. Some people reread it and some people also just kind of leave it there and then don't ever look back. It also allows you to own up to your mistakes. It allows you to talk about your frustrations. It allows you to reflect on your growth. So some people, they go back months later and reread their past journal entries to so see the progress you've made, you know, from three months ago, something that you're struggling with. Maybe you're not struggling with it anymore. And it's a great way to kind of show that. One thing that I do sometimes is I um, will tell my clients to track their mood and their thoughts and their feelings and things like that. Sometimes we don't know what it is that's triggering a certain feeling. So for instance, if you're always sad at a specific time of the day, tracking that and noting that is going to help you pinpoint where it is, number one. And then number two, it's going to help you kind of make connections between maybe what are some of the things that trigger you. Once you know what is triggering you, you can also find and identify and develop coping skills that can help you cope with those triggers and it can help you alleviate those stress. It can help you eliminate certain things from your life. Tracking can also be used to kind of track your sleep if you're having sleep issues. It can help you um, track maybe your diet, your exercise, and again, other coping skills. It helps you identify those negative coping skills and it helps you develop more positive and adaptive coping skills that could be beneficial in the long run writing to God and um, praying and things like that and writing it in journal form can be also super helpful and it can also help you reflect in that Sometimes way. Sometimes you can't communicate things out loud so it's better it's more helpful to write it down on paper and it makes more sense that way and so in that way <clears throat> you still feel heard. Yeah, I don't do is put pressure on myself to like you know journal every specific day and that's Another great thing about journaling, it doesn't have to be specific days or there's no particular way. I know there's like things like bullet journaling and all of that stuff, but you can really make it your own. Make sure you stick around and check out more of my videos and next month, um, I'll be doing it every single month. And so make sure you hit the subscribe button 
and notification bell. And make sure you like this video if you liked it. And um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.